This complete guide to GA4 conversion tracking for WordPress is going to walk you through exactly what you need to do to track GA4 conversions, and that way you can make the kind of decisions that will improve your site and grow your business. So let's get started. Conversion tracking is a way of finding out how many people completed a desired action on your website. Now, that desired action might be something like purchasing a product, downloading an ebook or PDF, subscribing to your email list, submitting a form, viewing important blog posts, and a lot more. Google Analytics 4 is Google's newest version of Analytics. The previous version, Universal Analytics, is going to sunset July 2023. Now, if you don't set up conversion tracking in GA4, you won't have the right kind of data to make decisions, and you won't know which strategies are working, and you'll have to rely on guesswork. Now, that means you'll possibly invest a lot of time and effort working on the wrong marketing channels and making unprofitable website improvements. Now, to change that, you need to set up GA4 conversion tracking. It'll help boost your return on your investment, change the strategies that aren't working, help you split test marketing campaigns, and optimize your campaigns to improve your revenue. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best way to track conversions in WordPress. Form conversion tracking, adding Google ad conversion tracking, identifying your top landing page conversions, setting up affiliate link tracking, measuring conversions, tracking marketing campaign conversions, using custom URLs and more. The easiest way to track how many people convert on your website is by using Monster Insights. It's the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress. You can add Google Analytics to your site and set up advanced tracking, including different conversions without touching a single line of code or having to use Google Tag Manager. Plus, Monster Insights helps uncover insights about how people use your website and which marketing strategies are working and you can view the data right inside your WordPress dashboard, so you won't ever have to open Google Analytics to see your most important metrics. We're going to be using Monster Insights for the rest of this conversion tracking tutorial, so get ready to find conversion tracking super easy. First, you'll need to install and activate Monster Insights on your website, so you can start by signing up for a Monster Insights account and downloading the plugin zip file from your account area. Next, upload the plugin to your website by going to your WordPress admin area and navigating to plugins and then to add new and finally to upload plugin. Next, you'll need to select the Monster Insights zip file and install it on your website. Now, once the plugin's installed, just click the activate plugin button. Now that you've installed Monster Insights, the next step is to create an analytics account. Now, you can create an analytics account for free, or if you already have an account, just connect it to Monster Insights. Monster Insights Setup Wizard will add the analytics tracking code for you. You won't need to hire a developer or edit any code. All you have to do is just follow the steps in the Setup Wizard. If you need more details, visit the link in the description and go through our step-by-step -step guide on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress. Now, after you've added Google Analytics to your site, Monster Insights is going to make it super easy to track your conversions. With Monster Insights, you can track all types of WordPress forms in Google Analytics and see how they're converting. Monster Insights is compatible with some of the most popular form builders like WP Forms, Formidable Forms, Gravity Forms, and more. All you need to do is activate the Monster Insights Forms add-on, and the plugin's going to take care of the rest. You don't have to manually set up events or add tracking code to keep an eye on your form conversions. Once you install the add-on, you can access a detailed report in your WordPress dashboard. Just go to Insights, and then to Reports, and finally to Forms to see your form conversions. On that report, you can track the number of impressions, conversions, and conversion rates. Using that data, you can see which forms have a good conversion rate and which ones are underperforming. If you'd like to dig deeper into GA4, you can create a simple custom exploration report that will show you which source medium your converting traffic came from. With that information, you can identify the right channels that are working to attract leads. So, for example, if you have a lot of conversions that are from a referral website, you can find similar sources to promote your campaign. Or if you're getting form conversions through Google search results, then you can optimize your website for similar keywords. If you haven't tried to create a custom GA4 report yet, be sure to check out the link in the description on how to create a Google Analytics 4 custom report step-by-step. -step. To set up the report, just head to Explore tab and start with a blank report. Then in the Dimensions box, search for an import event name, form ID, 
and session source media. In the metrics box, search for and import event count. So give your report a name like form conversions by source. Next, from the dimensions box, click and drag form ID and session source medium into the rows box. Then from the metrics box, click and drag event count into the values box like this. Lastly, drag and drop event name down into the filters box. Choose exactly matches for your filter and choose generate lead for the value. And that's it. Now you have a custom report that you can return to time and time again that will show you which sources brought visitors to your site that submitted forms. Now, if you have an e-commerce store and you want to know how many conversions you're getting, Monster Insights can help. With just a few clicks, the plugin is going to set up e-commerce tracking in Google Analytics 4, and you don't have to edit a single line of code or go through a complicated G-Tag Manager setup. All you have to do is install and activate the e-commerce add-on, and Monster Insights will start tracking your e-commerce store's performance. Now, the best part is that Monster Insights easily integrates with multiple e-commerce platforms like WooCommerce, Easy Digital Downloads, MemberPress, Lifter LMS, GiveWP, and Restrict Content Pro. Now, after installing the add-on, you can view your e-commerce conversions by looking at the e-commerce report. It's going to show you your store's conversion rate, transactions, revenue, and average order value. Besides that, you can also see your top products and revenue that they're generating. Now, in the Monster Insights e-commerce report, you can also track your top conversion sources. This is going to help you find the websites that are sending customers your way, and that way you can work to promote your products on similar sources. Now, for more details, visit the link in the description to our guide on how to set up Google Analytics for e-commerce tracking in WordPress. Google Ads is the most popular advertising platform that you can use to show paid ads in Google search results. Running paid ads is a great way to boost sales, capture more leads, promote your content, and a lot more. While Google Ads reports will show conversions from your campaigns, you can go one step further and link ads to Google Analytics and get more data. Let's say, for example, that you're running a campaign to increase downloads for an ebook. Now, you may want to know things like did the visitor land on the page and immediately download your ebook, or did they view the ad on a mobile device and then download the content from their desktop? Now, Google Analytics is going to help you uncover your visitor's behavior after they click on your ad. To track Google Ads conversion in WordPress, you'll need to enter a tracking tag. Now, this requires editing code since you have to enter the tag in the header of your website. Now, this can be tricky for beginners, and if you make a mistake, it can mess up your tracking. Plus, if you're trying to track conversions, that's another spot where you have to insert code. Hands down, the easiest way of connecting ads and analytics is by using Monster Insights. The Monster Insights Ads add-on is going to help you set up Google Ads conversion tracking without editing any code. To install the add-on, just go to Insights, and then Add-ons, and then to Ads, and click the Install button. After that, go to Insights, and then go to Settings, and then to Publishers, and head down to the Ads Tracking section. Here, all you have to do is enter your Google Ads conversion ID under the conversion ID field, and Monster Insights will set up the tracking for you. If you use Easy Digital Downloads, WooCommerce, or MemberPress, you can add your conversion label here. For a complete ads tracking tutorial, be sure to check out the link in the description to how to set up e-commerce Google Ads conversion tracking. Once that's done, the next thing to do is link Google Ads with your analytics. Now, you can do that by going to the admin settings in Google Analytics and then click on the Google Ads link. Then click the blue link button. Now, click the blue Choose Google Ads Account link. Next, select the Google Ads account that you want to connect with and click the Confirm button. And then click Next, and now you'll be given the choice to keep the personalized advertising enabled and auto-tagging will be automatically turned on. Personalized advertising can be turned off anytime if you leave it on here and decide to turn it off later. Make your choice and click Next. Be sure to review your choice and click Submit. Now you've successfully set up Google Ads conversion tracking on WordPress. To see your campaign's report in Google Analytics 4, just navigate to Acquisition, then to Acquisition Overview, then scroll down until you see the session-by-session -session Google Ads campaign card and click on View Google Ads Campaign. 
Now scroll down to the table to find all sorts of data for your ads campaign, such as ad clicks, ad cost, cost per click, conversions, revenue, and more. Now, along with keywords, it's also important to know which landing pages are converting the best. Landing page conversions can be people signing up to your newsletter or customers buying a product if you have an e-commerce store. By tracking landing page conversions, you can identify which content people like a lot. And that way you can cover similar topics on your website. Plus, you can optimize low converting web pages and booster conversions by changing the layout, adding more call to action buttons and editing the content. This also can help improve the user experience of your site, ensures that your pages and CTAs are working properly on mobile, desktop, and other devices. In WordPress, tracking landing page conversions is super simple with Monster Insights. It shows you your top performing pages in the publisher's report right inside your dashboard. Then if you click the View Full Top Landing Page Report button at the end, plugin's gonna take you to Google Analytics where you can see the number of conversions from each page. If you scroll down the table and scroll sideways, you're going to see all sorts of metrics. For an example, you're going to see views, users, new users, views per user, average engagement time, unique user scrolls, event count, set to sessions, start for landing page views, conversions, total revenue. So you can easily find conversion and revenue information for your landing pages in Google Analytics by just clicking a button in your WordPress dashboard. If you don't have conversions set up in GA4, you'll want to take a look at their conversion guide. I'll leave a link in the description. If you have affiliate links on your website, then tracking the number of clicks that they get can help boost your conversions. For example, if a high traffic landing page isn't leading to many clicks on the affiliate links, that means that the solution that you're offering isn't what your visitors are looking for. Now, you can replace a low performing affiliate with a top performing affiliate link to boost those conversions. To track affiliate links in WordPress, Monster Insights is the best solution. It makes tracking affiliate links really easy. First, create your affiliate links by using a plugin like Pretty Links. Then all you have to do is define the path of your affiliate links, like refer, or, or go. And a label to identify your affiliate links in Monster Insights. Now the plugin will then automatically track link clicks and show you a report in your WordPress dashboard. To view the report, just go to Insights and then go to Reports and then to Publishers, and then head over to the top Affiliate Links report. You can see the label link and total clicks for each affiliate link. For a full tutorial on tracking affiliate link clicks, just visit the link in the description on how to set up affiliate link tracking in WordPress. If you're running marketing campaigns like social media posts or email newsletters, tracking conversions in Google Analytics can help you see how they're performing. But Google Analytics doesn't automatically track certain marketing campaigns or identify the source of your conversions, and that makes it very hard to find out if your campaigns are working or where your visitors are coming from. Some of these campaigns might include sending out email newsletters with links to your products or blog posts, or they might be offline marketing where you use traditional marketing channels like print ads or SMS marketing. A simple way to keep track of your marketing campaigns is by creating custom URLs using UTM parameters. Now, these are additional code snippets that you just add to the end of the URL. Here's an example of what a custom URL with a UTM looks like. You can create custom URLs right inside your WordPress dashboard using the Monster Insights URL Builder. Simply go to Insights and then to Tools and finally to URL Builder and fill out the information about your campaign. Apart from the website URL and campaign source, all other fields are optional. With the URL Builder, you have various fields that you can fill out. For an example, you can enter the website URL that you want in the link. The campaign source tells you the source of your visitors, like a newsletter, Facebook, Google Search, and so forth. The campaign medium shows the type of marketing medium that you use, like emails, banners, ads, and other things. You can create a specific campaign name to differentiate from other campaigns on your website. If you're running paid ads, you can enter the keywords that you use for the campaign in the campaign term. Use the campaign content if you'd like to do A-B testing for your campaign. We recommend that you keep use fragments disabled. If you want to use fragments instead of queries in the UTM code, then you can enable this option. After entering the details of your marketing campaign, you can copy the link that the builder has automatically created and enter it in your campaign. And then you can view the conversions from your marketing campaigns by logging into your 
Google Analytics 4 account and heading to Acquisition and then to Traffic Acquisition and then click the Session Default Channel Grouping drop-down. Then select Session Campaign. Now you'll see all your campaigns listed. If you'd like to see the source and medium for each campaign, you can add it to your report by clicking the blue plus sign right next to the drop-down. Then in the Session Acquisition menu, search Select Session, Source Medium. Now you can see the results of your campaigns, including how the users got to your site. And there you have it, a complete guide to GA4 conversion tracking for WordPress. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why more than 3 million websites are using us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content just like this. We'll see you next time.